Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Garden of Glass, and I'm here with my good friend Brink the Gamer. How's it going, Brink? What is up, guys? We have been very busy between episodes. According to the Lexica Botania, if you go to the Garden of Glass section, you can get pumpkin and mel melon seeds by breaking tall grass. It says there somewhere. Uh, do, 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 filling saplings. I saw it a minute ago. Hmm. Shift right click. Blah, 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 blah. What, what was, oh, you're, oh, you're making ores. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Uh, melon or pumpkin seeds may drop from tall grass. So that's what the Lexico Pinania says. Well, what I will say is that it does drop from tall grass. Very rarely. Very, very rarely. <laughs> we spent a long time. I would be like this and he'd be breaking them. Yep, we just sit here, keep, and then he'd bone meal, and I break, and he'd bone meal. But finally, after longer than I would like to count, we did finally get one single pumpkin seed. Let's grow that real quick. Yeah, agreed. So we're just going to grow that right here, I think. You got a hoe there? Um, oh, yeah, that's it, fine. And can you bone meal that right away so it can start sure. growing? Yep. I think that go. would be that would be wise. Yep. Daylight so, should make it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also got some redstone off we did. camera. We did. I just, I just did one on camera right now. Yep. So that worked out great. Yeah, this uh, this orchid, this thing is amazing. Boy, I wish we knew about it earlier. <laughs> no kidding. We could have been, like, not derping around for five episodes and have yeah. just gotten... Oh, man. Regardless, though, uh, we're we're progressing. I mean, yes. we're really... I really feel like we're kind of getting somewhere now. And it's, uh, it's a good feeling, I have to say. Mm -hmm. um, normally, I'm... Uh, not so great when it comes to ma to mods like Botania, uh, magic mods, things like that. They're just not really my strong point, but this is going uh, better than it better than I expected. So, what do you think we need to start progressing toward the Nether? Then, um, I think we need fell pumpkins. So we need that pumpkin to grow as quickly as possible. Now, what else uh, along with the, that pumpkin do we need? Iron bars. All right, we can get that done. That's easy enough. Yep. And, and so it'll make some kind of a golem type of thing? Yes. Apparent, according to the Lexica Botania, if you put uh, a fell pumpkin on top of uh, iron bars, just like you were making a snow golem, uh, apparently it will turn into a blaze. And when you kill said blaze, it will drop a bunch of blaze powder, which you can then use to craft... Um, Obsidian, essentially. And that'll get us to the nether. And that will get us to the nether. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking. Now, there was a, let's see, cocoon. Hmm, let me, let me double check the Lexica Botania again, because it does actually say specifically, um, city, oh, here we go. The cocoon of caprice and the matter of blah, blah, the blaze lamp, which can be used to create obsidian, uses power instead of rods. So, the blaze lamp is made with uh, four, with nine blaze powder, and then the blaze lamp, when put next to a pure daisy, will turn into obsidian. So, basically, we essentially need uh, ten blaze lamps. And that will get us um, to the nether. Yeah. And uh, so I need two more string. Oh, what are you working on? A bed for both of us. We need one more string, actually. Oh. No? Well, save some of that string because in order to make the uh, the fell pumpkins, we need every type of vanilla drop. We need bones. We need string. We need uh, oh zombie flesh, and we need whatever you call it. Well, Morpheus isn't installed in this pack, is it? No. 
Okay, so we won't be able to get rid of the knight. Um, yeah, and I think that's honestly, I think that's okay. I mean, it's kind of annoying, based you know, with growing things, but well, well, for the rain is really what the issue is to get rid of the rain. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we don't need the beds. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we can worry about that a little bit more uh, later on. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. we have bigger fish, bigger fish to fry, so to Indeed. so to, so to speak. Um, so, I mean, at this point, we're essentially just waiting on the pumpkin. So, and I think what we'll do is once we get the pumpkin, I think we, uh, take the pumpkin and grow more pumpkins. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, that is actually a benefit is getting the bed so that we can bring up the day and our mana generation will be quicker along with the pumpkin growth and all of that, the plants and all of that. Yeah. Um... I mean, I don't know how much blaze powder one of those blazes is going to drop. Yeah, we need a lot, it appears. So, I don't know if it's going to drop nine. I mean, if it, maybe it'll drop like 50 blaze powder, who knows. But somehow I don't think that's going to be the case. Mm -hmm. So, I say we, uh, we hold off on the beds, at least for now, until we okay. know how much one of those things is capable of dropping. Well, I converted a lot. from there to wool, but I don't know that there's a way to convert it back into string. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we only need we only need <laughs> one string though, right? Oh yeah, we need ten. One yeah. for each yeah. block, right? Yeah. Well let's see. I'm gonna try to break this. No, breaking won't do anything. It just gives you the block. And then shearing it gives you the block. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's vanilla, so you're not going to be able to convert it back. Oh, okay. Vanilla mechanics do not allow for it, unfortunately. Well, I wish they the did, string. but... Is that three? Um, okay. That's enough to get started, at least. And uh, it's certainly plausible that we'll end up with more string. Now, the Daffa Mill is, is out of the question, right? Um, not so much anymore. The redstone, that was what we were waiting for. We got the altar, we got the iron, we got string. We can get more string if we make that daffodil, because that'll push the spiders to the center. Yeah, that would be good. We just need that feather from Chicky. And actually, I think there is one feather in the chest. We do have a feather. I think there is one feather. I don't know where we got it. Maybe we did get it from Chicky. Well, zombies used to drop them. I don't know. that We have two, two. by the way. Yeah, so we must have got a feather somewhere. Yeah, that's strange. Hmm. Well, I'm not complaining. You have <laughs> a feather. Make use of it, my friend. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so Daffamil, how do you do that? You're the master of the magicians here. Um, I would say <laughs> step one, consult the Lexica Botania. <laughs> Step two, follow the directions in the Lexica Botania. Because okay, I, so, I don't know. I've never made the Daffa Mill before. Okay, so two whites, a brown, and a yellow. Okay. Any of those mana, are any of those mana petals, or are they just normal petals? Yes, some of them are mana. Okay. You should be fine. Uh, I'm going to give our Endo Flame another coal block to munch on. Keep the the mana generation going when possible. There we go. Uh, let's see. Two whites, a brown, and a yellow. There we go. Come on, pumpkin grow. That's all we need. <laughs> grass and redstone. One grass and the redstone. Oh, pumpkin. Hello. You Four scared pumpkin me there, man. seeds. <laughs> there we go. Now we are getting places. Bam. Bam. And I'm honestly kind of tempted to... Oh, I hate to break our dirt, though. Hmm. Three pumpkins. You know what I could do? We could plant... Can pumpkins grow? No, no, it's got to be... 
tilled, I think. Uh, pumpkins, no, it doesn't have to be tilled. Will they grow? Will a pumpkin grow on cobblestone if the cobblestone is right next to it? Yeah. It will? Okay. Yeah. Then I'm growing stalks in place of trees. Because we need cobble, or we need pumpkins more than we need anything else. So. Oh, good idea, yeah. That's what we're doing. I can replant the trees later. That and we need string. We need string pretty bad too. Yeah. And and bones for that matter. We're running kind of shy on resources at the moment. Ooh, speaking of, hello bones. Hello everything mob drops. And you got one skelly in here just kind of chilling. That's about it. Looks like your mob farm is working pretty well though. All right, cool. So this is good. Um, Feather. And so we're going to need a lot of mana generation. Oh, no, this is Petal Apothecary. Oh, yeah, I do need the runic altar for the rune. Which we have because you made, uh, yeah. you already made one of those. But I do need a lot of uh, mana because I'm we got to make mana steel. Yeah, and I'm sure you're, I'm sure it's going to suck up any anything that you do with the ritual at the the uh, – the, the the runic altar any of that stuff I'm sure is gonna suck up quite a bit of mana but yeah but I mean we have had our endo flame going pretty steady for a while now so maybe maybe we'll have enough I don't know well I guess we'll I guess we'll find out yep all right so here we go I'm gonna do a ritual here okay what are you working on making right now uh, the daffodil um, I need a rune of air, and that's what I'm ritualizing here. Okay. And a carpet, for some strange reason. <laughs> okay. Hey, whatever. <laughs> and uh, my wand. Where? No, let's see. Defamil. So, string, feather, carpet, three, mana of steel. Yep, I got it. So, let's start this up. And yep. it's going. Okay. Is it going to have enough mana? Ah, looks like it doesn't. It's not even a showing. Uh, do you have your wand with you? Not on me, but I can grab it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Let's take a peek. You okay. know what it is? Yeah, th this guy is pointing somewhere else, so it's chewing up the mana. Maybe we should point it back that way. Here. Yeah. There we go. You got it. Okay. Oh, now it's moving. Yeah. So this guy had the old mana. Yeah. Which makes right. sense because I was taking the mana from the mana pool and sending it towards the orchid. Yeah. So that would certainly make a difference. The progress bar looks better in this version. It's actually uh, bigger. Looks pretty hmm. good. Nice. Does it seem to be, uh, does it look like we're going to have enough? Yep. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely going to make it. Sweet. Because we also need Rune of Earth, big time. Oh, okay. So make sure. So we want to make sure that we have enough. Uh, yeah. Um, Are you going to work on that now? Uh, well, I mean, I can't really do that until we get to the Nether, so we can get our hands on some mushrooms. We can't okay. actually make one, but we want to make sure we have enough mana saved up. Yeah. Because that's going to require mana steel and gets two, of course. We so. do have to make some more living rock in order to complete these runic altar exercises. So let me drop this one, and I should complete it. No, it didn't. Oh, what happened? Is it another way to do it now? Did they change it? Um, That I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. Ha-ha. And that gave you three of them, right? <clears throat> three, yes. Or something like that. I'll give yep. that thing another coal block. Let it munch. And now you said the man of water was here it is. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the bowls of water for filling up the petal apothecary. <laughs> Fills it entirely. All right. Yep. So, rune, redstone root, white, white, brown. Oh, infused white and yellow. Ooh. Going to waste a little bit more mana on this. All right. Well, that's all right. All right. Come on, pumpkins. Do your thing. Grow. Uh, white, white, brown, yellow. Let's see. White, 
white, brown, and yellow, and then rune and redstone root. And then I need a seed if we have one. Um, I see one here. We're good. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's see. Got it. Daffamil. Oh, but I only made one. <laughs> so now here's a question. Yeah. How are we going to power said Daffamil with mana? Um, we're going to have to make some mana tablets and make another mana pool above the uh, the mob farm. Okay. And by the way, guys, if you're viewing this, if you don't know why we're making the Daffamil, this flower is able to push um, entities like uh, whatever cobblestone you drop on the floor. You can use your wand to direct which direction it's going to go, and it'll actually push entities and mobs to a certain direction. This will generate a lot of spider string by pushing them down to the middle because you see they're hanging out by there, but they're two blocks wide, so they have less chance of falling through than a regular mob that's only one block wide. So we need yeah, like it's, it's essentially a fan. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. I don't know how to turn the direction on it though. I don't know much about that. I don't know how to do that. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm assuming that's something with the wand. Mm -hmm. uh, but this project is your baby, so I'm going to give you the daffodil back. Oh sure, give me the hard stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm I'm busy managing the pumpkins. <laughs> yes. Um, how do you make those those? Uh, oh, can you make pasture seeds? You can make the pasture seeds, dude. Can we? Yeah, this will help because we can make the uh, the mana flora levitate. Which is cool. Yeah, that'll be helpful. Yeah, then I can put it up on the mob farm. I don't have to give it a dirt block on its own. Oh, or do we need a dirt block? We'll need a dirt block no matter what. Oh yeah, it requires to make it, to make it levitate. Blocks. That's why I'm thinking: get the pumpkins, get to the Nether, make the things do the things. Yes. Now, you saw you went into Nether and creative. Did you see dirt there? Yeah, when I went into my single player world, uh, there wasn't any. I mean, it's it's basically just a vanilla Nether. Okay, so um, there was no dirt then. Correct. However, mushrooms grow in the vanilla Nether. Right. So, and um, somehow mushrooms can develop dirt. Uh, mushroom. We need a mushroom for the rod of Earth. Ah, that'll make the dirt exactly. An Earth rune requires mushroom, and. Uh, once we have an earth rune, we have everything we need to make the rod of earth, which basically can just materialize dirt out of thin air. Right. It doesn't so need mana, though, right? Yeah, it still needs mana. Yeah. But, you know, if we have enough dirt, we can have tons of mana. We just yeah. need a place to put. I mean, the problem that we have right now is we've got tons of resources for botania flowers and stuff, but we got no dirt to put them on. Yeah. You know, I mean, you saw we had to, there used to be a, uh, a pure daisy right here. We had to take it off to make room for the for the orchid. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, oh man. You know, but um why don't we keep why don't we give that thing some uh, some charcoal? Yep. I think that would probably be You know, if we had another end of flame, was it hard to make that? Another end of flame? No. Yeah, just to get more mana going. Maybe. No, there that's not uh it's not too it's not too challenging. They're not bad. Um Let's do a little bit of this. We'll do a little bit of that and a little bit of this. And uh, yeah, but um, it can only eat one item at a time and process one item at a time. So if you put too much stuff there, it can actually despawn. So you got to be kind of careful. Yep. Still let's, no pumpkins, though, since that first one. Let's see what it takes to make a tablet. Oh, a tablet is doable. Is Do it? We, yeah, it's an uh, ender pearl or a diamond. What do you suggest we use? Well, uh, we've got diamonds. We got three of each. But I think aren't uh, don't mana diamonds require more mana than ender mana pearls? I don't think so. I think it's the same. Is it okay? Well, then use uh, use the diamond. I guess I, I don't know. It doesn't. I don't think it really matters. Honestly. We, well, we want to know which one we're able to come across easier. I think it's about the same. The Endermen? Because the, the, the Endermen, you know, generate up there. Right, but they don't drop a whole lot And of them. fall. 
and the the orchid generates diamonds. So I mean, realistically, we have both. All right. In, in yeah, I'd say just pick which one ever you know. And what else do we really need diamond for? Yeah. You know? Well, I'm going to use a, an ender pearl because I don't think I'm going to be using ender pearls for anything else. I'm not going to be traveling with it. So. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. So we got that. Then I'm making a tablet, by the way. Um, can I get rid of the uh, the orchid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, we'll just get rid of it. I'll put it back in the chest where it can probably stay now until we actually have a place to put it. It feels lonely. It's without a home at the moment. Mm -hmm. So where's the uh, the daisy? The daisy. Uh, I need some living stone. Oh, uh, right there. Cool. Yep. Do do. I suppose while I'm waiting on the pumpkins, I can do a little bit of cobble gen since I just realized that we have no cobble. We just have cobble slabs. I wish these pumpkins would get going, though. I'm thinking pumpkins can't actually grow onto cobblestone. Are you sure that they can? Uh, it, it was a thing when I played vanilla many years ago. Hmm. Well, maybe they can then. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's night and these things are just growing slow. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It's hard to keep track of everything I'm trying to make. There's so yeah. many progression, <laughs> one thing after another. I know. All right, so we're making a mana tablet, and we're trying to get a lot of string. String and... Uh... I think string's actually the only thing that we really need. Yeah, we got 42 gunpowder. That's plenty. 43 rotten flesh, 7 bones. We need a few more bones than what we got right now, too. We got loads of bones here. I'm going to come check. Oh, do we? Okay. Yeah. Sweet. I'll pop in. Okay. Looks good. I think we could also probably at some point move this back. Uh, to to generate more, yeah, yeah. Now that we don't really need, because we we built it only a, a, a one block deep because we wanted to make sure that there was. Uh, we basically wanted to prioritize zombies mm -hmm. uh, and eliminate as many things that weren't zombies as possible because we were we were panicking about how we were going to get iron. Uh, but now that we know we can get uh, iron from the orchids up there, uh, then we don't really need to prioritize zombies anymore. So. Um, you know, spiders can generate in there and Endermen can generate in, in there as well. So just a thought. Yeah. So I wonder how far away does the daffodil have to be from the mana, uh, pool? I don't know. I know it will probably need a mana spreader being shot at it. You think so? Because I was gonna feed it with a mana tablet. That's what I'm making right now. Yeah, I don't I don't I haven't really ever used a mana tablet actually. Believe it or not. So I don't know I don't really know how it would work. What I do know is that we're pretty much out of time for this episode. Ah. Oh. So as much as I hate to say it, did I just waste a pumpkin? Oh. Just wasted a pumpkin seed. I got a mana tablet if you want to finish off the episode with it. I'll let you, I'll, I'll follow you around like a little puppy. <laughs> okay. And you can show the world what the mana tablet is capable of. Uh, just drop this guy right into the pool. Okay. It's easy as that. Bam. That didn't, nope, nope. Mana, mana tablet in, is it doing things? It's doing things. Are you sure? It doesn't look like it's doing things. Yeah, it is. I, I'm looking. Aha! Now it's doing things. Oh, it wasn't set to release. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. I had to change. I switched up the mana pool. So you can pick it up now, and, uh, and there's a very minuscule amount of mana in it. <laughs> yeah, but the great thing is I can climb up that ladder and put it in the mana pool up there. Yep. Um, or I can put an endo flame up there and do the whole shenanigans up there as well. 
The thing is that if you want, oh, there's a pumpkin. Great. Finally. Cliffhanger. Next episode, we'll be able to make the thing. What's it called again? It's the thingy. <laughs> the thing with the pumpkin. We we'll make it. the pumpkin thingy that does the pumpkin-y thingies. We needed that so badly. Yes. Well, actually, we need like 10 of them. But okay. <laughs> but it's a start. We'll have it ready for the I next keep episode. doing that. Mm. I oh, don't know. stepping on it? Yeah, I keep accidentally stepping on them. That's oh. okay, though. I'll just... I just realized something. Hmm. What's up? Did you know that when breaking that, mm -hmm. you get two seeds? I didn't know that. So why huh. are we waiting for the pumpkins? <laughs> Let's just break them like that. Because we need the actual pumpkins. Oh, we did. Okay. We need the actual pumpkins themselves. We can't just use the seeds. And I don't think you need to hold the land. I think it'll grow right on dirt. Uh, the stalks will not, no. The oh. stalks you need to hoe, but the okay. uh, the pumpkins that will then grow to an adjacent block. Okay. But I'm, I'm thinking that they have to grow to an adjacent grass block. Oh, the other thing is it won't grow here because you need water next to it for it to mm. get sustenance. It has to be next to a water block. Okay. Well, maybe what we could do then is... Like these two in the corners, I don't think they'll ever grow. Only the one in the middle there. I think they'll grow. I mean, they've, the the land is hydrated. I'm not sure that works that way. It may be, I may be confused with the sugar cane. But I think you're confused with the sugar cane because yeah. the sugar cane definitely needs to be adjacent to water. Right. Pumpkins do not have to be adjacent to water. Okay. So how many blocks away from water does it have? Can it be? Four blocks in any direction, including oh. diagonal. Okay. But, I mean, these are all now capable of growing pumpkins, so hopefully we'll be able to, you know, make use of that. Hopefully we'll have enough pumpkins by the time you guys get back. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We do appreciate it, and it really helps out our channels. You can find both myself and Brink the Gamer uh, all over the place. Links to all of our pertinent social media, etc., etc. in the video description below. Links, of course, to Brink's channel as well. So check that out. But otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll definitely see you next time. Bye-bye.